Good morning, my dearest friends, and welcome to this Sunday's reflection. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. The church celebrates a new year. And the theme for our reflection today is Vigilance. My dearest friends, in the Gospel today, the Lord calls us to be awake, to be ready at all times, because He is coming. Advent is a time of preparation to celebrate the incarnation of the second person of the Blessed Trinity, the coming of Jesus. And so in the Gospel of St. Matthew 24, from verse 37 to 44, today, Jesus invites us to be awake, to be vigilant. And the second reading of today, from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 13, from verse 11 to 14, St. Paul reminds us of the dualism of light and darkness, symbolizing good and evil. And one of the ways to be vigilant, to be awake, is to walk in the light. The first reading of the day from the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 2, from verse 1 to 5, especially verse 5, invites the house of Israel to walk in the light of the Lord. And so, my brothers and sisters, our existence is surrounded by this battle, by this struggle between the forces of darkness and light, between good and evil. And human beings, man and woman, is at the center of this situation. Are you conscious of this? Does that call you to vigilance? So my brothers and sisters, as we begin a new year of the church, this is an opportunity for a new beginning to be vigilant. Three things that I want to underline. First, let us spend this Advent listening to the Lord, especially in the readings, the daily readings, reflections, homilies. Second, listening to ourselves. Oftentimes we have a very false idea of ourselves. We have false notion of ourselves. We need to listen to ourselves for better self-knowledge, better direction. And finally, listening to others, the weak, the society, the abandoned, the lonely. Let us bring this three together and we will have a beautiful Christmas celebration, a journey I just started. You have to begin now. And so my brothers and sisters, we ask the Lord for the grace so that in the battle of life, He will grant us victory over forces of evil and darkness. Okay.